Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Twenty twenty one has a lot on its plate. From mystery shows like Promised Neverland to thrillers like Other Side Picnic and Re Zero. But what's anime without some action? And since we're in 2021, that action comes in fluid animation, well choreographed fight scenes, and ear blasting soundtracks. Today I'm bringing 10 of the best action anime coming in 2021. I included some underrated shows as well, so you'll definitely have something to add to your watch list. Ready? Let's start the punching. Starting the list off, we have Godzilla Singular Point. The story of Godzilla is something that will repeat through the ages until the universe ends. But one thing that we can all agree on is the fresh spin each of these adaptations put onto the original story. This anime adaptation follows Mei Kamino and Yun Arikawa, the former being a scientist and the latter being an engineer. Together they discover some mysteries that weren't meant to be discovered, and the next thing you know, it's the apocalypse. And when Godzilla brings in the apocalypse, you know what sort of an action thrill ride you should expect. Being an anime, this will definitely outdo the original stories in terms of action, and we're all waiting to see what kind of dystopian story it would throw at us. At 9 is Shaman King. Coming off as a return series, Shaman King would fill the hearts of many old anime fans in terms of story and action. This is about a shaman boy named Yo Asakura, whose goal is to become the Shaman King. He gets the help from his fiance, Anna Kyoyama, and soon sets off on an adventure to claim the position as the Shaman King. The original anime did a good job adapting the manga, but obviously falls short compared to modern animation. Hopefully, the new studio undertaking the job will manage to do the manga and the story more justice. This combines the action to its adventures, and with the previous cast returning back, it's sure to be a nostalgic ride for every 2000s anime fan. World Trigger comes in next. Don't worry, 2021 won't fall short of overpowered protagonists. Here we have everyone's favorite dystopian setting where humanity is attacked by aliens. But these aliens, dubbed as neighbors, are more than your typical threat. So to combat them, the Border Defense Agency creates weapons known as triggers. When one such member of the agency finds Yuma Kuga, a neighbor disguised in the form of a human, you can see how things start to turn upside down. Its first season has already aired, so if you plan on watching this, make sure to binge watch that first. With an overpowered protagonist comes overpowered action. So if you're a fan of that niche, then you're clearly not going to be disappointed by this one. <laughs> Netflix rarely does anime justice, but when it does justice, they make sure to give it their best. Be The Beginning was an underrated gem back in 2018. Its story, production, and animation were on par with the best anime that was released along with it, and the ending left us open to a sequel. The first season follows the killings of a mysterious serial killer named Killer B, and the effort of a detective to capture him. But as it progressed, new mysteries were revealed and the real culprits came into play. The second season will continue the story, or either focus more on character backstories but to get a confirmation, we'll have to wait for a new series to arrive at Netflix. If you have Netflix, you know what to add to your watch list. At 6 we have The 7 Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment. Yes, the seven deadly frames per second are coming back. I thought the producers would kick Studio Dean out of the equation after their embarrassing animation in Season 3, but it seems like everyone loves giving the studio a second chance. So Dragon's Judgment will continue the rest of the story, and hopefully do the manga justice in terms of animation. As a manga reader myself, I have some high hopes for this season, and it definitely has some climactic moments which, if done right, can blow up the fandom. The previous cast will return back, along with some new faces and some new villains. I'm placing my bets on you, Studio Dean, so don't disappoint me this time with your PowerPoint animation.
Up next, we have Boku no Hero Academia, fifth season. Now, what would a year be without My Hero Academia? The first four seasons did a stellar job of building up the story, and the fifth season gets to continue the tradition in the same quality as the previous seasons. The class of superheroes is back, and this time the villains are back in all their glory as well. Now, I haven't been catching up with the manga, but if the word of mouth is right, then this season is going to be a blast. I'm waiting for the hyped up action similar to the Overhaul fight or the Endeavor fight, and looking at the previous season, Seasons, I'm sure this season won't disappoint me. And with each season, Midoriya's challenges seem to grow tougher, and I'm sure this season isn't going to cut him some slack. At 4 we have Cells at Work, Code Black. If I ever told you I had an idea about personifying cells inside a human body, you'd laugh it off. But that's what anime is here for. It can take the most bizarre premises and deliver a show full of action and suspense. The original Cells at Work told the fight between red and white blood cells in all their, pardon the pun, bloody glory. And this season will continue this feud back again. No, you don't need your biology books to watch this anime. And that's the beauty of it. Fans with and without any medical knowledge can enjoy this equally. And being about blood cells, this season is sure to be bloody awesome. Reincarnated as a Slime Season 2 comes in next. RPG slimes are no longer the weaker enemy. These blue slimes you took as a joke can now destroy worlds and take out dragons. That is the premise of Reincarnated as a Slime. A man gets born as a slime, and after getting the power of the blue dragon, he achieves feats even normal people could dream of. The second season will introduce some new villains and will focus less on world building and more on the action. Similar to World Trigger, you've got an overpowered protagonist leading the charge and throwing crazy magic spells around faster than nukes. So, if you're a fan of The Overpowered, you're gonna love this. If you haven't watched it yet, you still have plenty of time to binge watch, because the second season has only one episode released so far. <laughs> At the runner-up spot, we have Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. Moving up the overpowered category, we have one last isekai to speak of. This one is about a man who is actually born as an overpowered child in another world. Not a totally new premise, I know, especially when it sounds similar to Wise Man's Grandchild. But according to the fans, this is one of the best stories when it comes to the power fantasy niche. Mushoku Tensei may start off simple, but the story expands with its adventure and narrative, weaving in different storylines to deliver a more epic story. According to the raving reviews, you can definitely expect some overpowered action in this one, and rather than repeating the same tropes, this show will put a fresh spin on them and deliver an isekai that will get you hooked. Taking the top spot is Attack on Titan Season 4. Anyone who has watched the fifth episode or has read forward in the manga must know that Attack on Titan has achieved the status of peak fiction. Never before has anime done something so absolutely right and has struck every chord to resonate within every anime fan. This season of Attack on Titan focuses on Eren's attack at Mali, and the sooner to be revealed evil machinations and grand plans of our protagonist. If you haven't watched the anime, then it is almost as if you haven't experienced the best of anime. So to sum it up, it's gonna be dark, it's gonna be brutal, and remember that line in the opening about sinister faces and growing corpses? Well, it's gonna hit harder with each episode. So, there goes 10 of the best action anime you should be hyped for. Let's hope another tragedy like 2020 won't come again, because I want these 10 anime to be released in their respective release dates and make this year a blast. I hope you found some great new action shows, and if there's a show that I missed, don't forget to mention it down below in the comments. Have some happy binge-watching anime fans, and I'll see you all in the next video.